It's scary to think that failure happens in healthcare, engineering, international aid. What's scarier though, is that those failures don't get talked about or learned from. Absolutely determined to do something about this, I started a website called admittingfailure.com. It was designed as a database where anyone could submit stories of failure in learning. I imagined thousands and thousands of stories pouring in so that never again would a mistake be repeated because you could search these stories based on location and project type and sector. And when I was pitching the site to get funding to build it, I even claimed it would catalyze a new era of collaborative learning. Now, almost four years later, there are 32 stories submitted to admittingfailure.com. Not quite the new era of collaborative learning that I was imagining, and actually six months in, all the funding got cut. And I was left with the irony that the website about failure had itself failed. But of course, I learned something from this failure and something very important. And that was that there is a huge gap between knowing and believing that we need a more productive relationship with failure for learning and innovation to thrive and turning that into individual behavior change and organizational cultures that allow that learning and innovation to thrive. Because after I launched that site, I must have done dozens of media interviews. Stanford Social Innovation Review, Globe and Mail, CBC, everyone wanted to talk about this. Countless blogs were written about the site. Academics still call me wanting to study it. People wanted to have this more productive conversation about failure. And yet, nothing really changed. The director of global learning for one of our largest consulting firms in Canada once told me that in reality, they hate failure. They only pursue projects that are guaranteed successes and this is why they have not seen innovation really come to life. He knew, just like all of us knew, that nothing great is ever accomplished without taking a risk. And with risk comes some element of failure, and that failure is not going to lead to greatness unless we know how to talk about it and how to learn from it. It is time for a new, more productive relationship with failure, and that is my relentless pursuit.